So for today's video, I'm going to be getting ready. Obviously, I have no makeup on my face. Um, I have a lot of new things that I'm going to be trying out. Some of them I've been using for the past couple weeks, um, and some of them I haven't tried before. As you may know, Sephora had their spring VIB sale, which was 15% off of everything, and Ulta had a 20% off for their Platinum Rewards members. So I've been spending a lot of money. Um, and also, ColourPop came out with some new lip products, and obviously I had to try them. So, I'm going to go ahead and start getting ready. I also, a while back, placed an order with Glossier, which is an online brand, and they're more of a skincare brand, but they do have some makeup. They have, like, lip products, and they have a concealer that I have been using. Um, I'm not going to use it today, but it looks like this. I am going to use their primer though. This is the Priming Moisturizer. So it is good for dry skin. My skin has been really weird recently, so it's been like kind of peely looking and red. So I'm going to go ahead and use this today. And you could, if you, if you have oily skin, I'd say you could probably skip your moisturizer and just use this. And yes, my face is already red. For my foundation today, I'm going to be using the Unique BB Flawless Complexion Enhancer. So it is a BB cream from Unique, which is cruelty free. Um, it is one of those brands that you buy from like a presenter, as they're called. Um, and I have really been liking this. And if you like a, a natural finish, and just like a little bit of a tint, then I would definitely recommend it. I am going to go in with their concealer. This is the Mineral Touch Skin Perfecting Concealer. And I'm just going to add a little bit of that to this. Um, my friend Emily sells Unique. And that was her tip for a little extra coverage. And that is the shade Scarlet for the concealer. And for the BB cream, it's, I'm in the shade cream. They're both the lightest shade though. Um, I tried to use the concealer like as a concealer under my eyes, but it's too dark for my skin. So I'm just going to dot this all over my face. And you could like, with this kind of thing, I don't mind going in with my hands and just rubbing it in. But I do have a new beauty sponge that I want to use. This is the NYX beauty sponge. I got this from Ulta on their website. It said it was online only. It's like flat on this side. So I'm really interested in that whenever we get to concealer. It feels very similar to the um, Real Techniques sponge. Like it's not as soft as the beauty blender but we'll see how this works. I do have my L'Oreal sponge already wet. This is wet, by the way. Um, I have my L'Oreal sponge on backup just in case. I don't like how this is working, but so far, I think it's okay. I love a black beauty sponge, by the way. I know that's so random, but I just, I just do. Something about it makes me happy. It just like matches my heart. So that is the foundation on my face. As you can see, I still have redness. Like you can still see my skin through it, but it's just a little more even. And I mean, that's all I expect out of that. So for concealer, I don't have a new under eye concealer. Um, as I said, the unique one doesn't really work under my eyes. It's not bright enough for me. I'm just going to use my Shape Tape from Tarte. Um, this is another tip from my pal Emily who lets it sit for a little while under her eyes. So while that's sitting for a little bit, I am going to go in with this NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. This has been all over YouTube. I feel like I don't really need to say anything, but this is a new concealer from NARS. This is in the shade Chantilly. Chantilly. I don't, 
it is again it's the lightest shade that's all I really need to say so I've just been dipping it dipping my beauty blender into this and then putting it on to wherever I want some extra coverage so for me that's my chin and my nose and if you are like me this is what I'm really excited about this concealer because if you're like me I am a face toucher anyway so I, I move my makeup off my face a lot during the day anyway I spend a lot of time on the phone so like this part of my face just like goes through it during the day this stuff is like the best like I don't know if other people have this problem but like I can put foundation on my nose and concealer like liquid concealer on my nose and it'll look like there's nothing there <laughs> and you'll go back over it like three times and nothing nothing works and it'll just kind of it just like moves around it doesn't want to stay but this stuff like I just I don't know I'm really impressed with how it stays on my nose and I do have a lot of redness like on my nose too so oh I really like how this sponge this like pointy end goes underneath my eyes and like right in there oh that's nice okay yeah I love this this side right here that's flat for under the eyes that's amazing and then to set my face this isn't new I'm just gonna use the it cosmetics bye bye pores and then another trick that I've been doing for my nose like I like this powder because it does make your pores vanish basically but for my nose area I have really been liking using the Rimmel stay matte pressed powder this is like my 17 millionth one of these and as you can see it has been loved um, this is like under five dollars from the drugstore so it is a really good powder but I have been liking taking my sponge and just setting my nose with this I don't know what it is about it so for brows I am gonna be using the benefit Cabral this is like a pomade type of thing and I'm just gonna brush through my friend Kyle works for benefit now which is so cool um, she works at the mall in Belk at the benefit counter and I just think that's like the coolest job ever and she suggested this to me that was my story about that I wasn't just like talking about how she works there and how super jelly I am anyway I'm taking this little brush from wet n wild I feel like it's probably a eyeliner brush but I like it for my brows and I'm really just like as I do with my pencils I just like trace underneath and just sort of fill them in again disclaimer I'm not good at my brows I just kind of make them look like they're actually there there's no like really good shape to them and I'm gonna go in with my benefit gimme brow this is a little tiny sample one. I don't have a new blush, actually, but I will use this one. I used this highlight in my last video. I have so many new highlights, you guys. I don't know what's wrong with me. Um, but this is from ColourPop. This is one of their face palettes, and I wanna say it's called Double Play. I'm looking, I have the packaging over there. It comes with like a little sleeve, but they don't put the names on the back, which I know everyone is like really annoyed with. So, this is the Double Play Face Palette, and I used this highlight in the last video. I'm going to use this blush, and again, I think if you were darker, you could totally use this as a bronzer, but it's, it's too warm to be a bronzer for me, and it ends up being like a really nice peachy brown tone blush that just looks kind of natural, and that's what I'm going for today. And I love this highlight. Like, it is fling! It is good, um, but I'm not going to use it today because I have 
so many new ones. I did finally get this one from Tarte, which is called Spellbound, and it is part of their unicorn collection, and it's like a rainbow highlight. Um, and it doesn't look like these colors whenever it comes out, just side note. Like you can go into them separately, but together they make like a really pretty color. I think I'm gonna do this and then I might mix it with another one because I do have another one that I really like too. So that is the Spellbound Glow Rainbow Highlighter from Tarte by itself. And now I'm gonna go in with this bad boy right here. This is from Jeffree Star Cosmetics in collaboration with Manny MUA. They're both here on YouTube. Jeffree Star has his own brand, obviously, and then Manny helped to create this. Um, they're called Skin Frost, um, and this is called Eclipse. And I just really like this. I've always wanted to try Jeffree Star anything, um, and I love Manny. Like, love his face. So, I was very excited that he came out with this highlighter and that it's a color that would like actually work for me because a lot of the Jeffree Star ones are quite dark, which is weird because he's quite pale too, so I don't know why I said quite like 17 times just now. I do feel like this one picks up texture a little bit more on the cheeks, so that's kind of weird. I don't know if it's like that for all of them, but I do find I have to be pretty light-handed with this one. I am going to use my my ColourPop shadows. I know, you're probably tired of seeing them. That's okay. I'm just gonna prime my eyelids with the little Bare Minerals Cream Eyeshadow and just blend that in with my finger. Really quickly, I'm going to just set that with a light shade and then I'm going to go in the crease with this like pinky shade called Say I Do okay so that is Say I Do in the crease and then I'm gonna take um, another peachy pink shade called Flower Boy and I'm gonna mix it with this more RNG shade called Wait For It. I used both of these in my last video too, so not, again, not really anything new on my eyes so far. But we're getting ready together and we're chatting and we're being friends, so. Now for my lid, I'm gonna go in with this Super Shock Shadow. Can't remember the name of it. It's called Flipper. And it is like a peachy, shimmery, let's see, this is a metallic. And I'm just going to put this on my lid. These work best with your fingers if you're doing all over the lid, honestly. I'm going to do under the eye. Same, same colors. So going in with that softer pink shade. Now for the brow bone and inner corner, I'm going to go in with the Tarte Exposed Highlight and just pop that right underneath my brow. Take my little tiny brush, put it right in the corner. Now I've just got to curl my lashes and for mascara, I'm going to use once again the their Real Tinted Primer from Benefit. This is a little sample that I got. And then I'm still using my Tarte Tartist Mascara. ColourPop came out with more of their blotted lips. I had all of the ones from the Alexis Wren collaboration. I ended up giving the red one away because I didn't really 
wear that much. This formula is like, they describe it as popsicle lips. So it is like a matte, but it's sheer. You can build it up to be more color, but it's a sheer matte. And then they also came out with ultra blotted lips, which look like they're liquid lipsticks, they're lip glosses, all the same packaging. Basically, these are like the same idea. They're a sheer matte. I don't think these build up as easily because um, they do get kind of crusty and like bunchy if you try to build them too much. These are transfer proof. The blotted lips are not. The ultra blotted transfer proof. So, for today I'm going to use, I think I'm going to use Sucker. Um, and also, just a tip, I've been using these. For the past week and I find if I put like a chapstick underneath for a little while before I apply these and then like wipe it off right before I apply them it goes on a lot smoother and obviously you should exfoliate your lips okay so this is sucker which is a blotted lip and I actually haven't used this yet I just know that I like the formula Okay guys, so that is it for this little get ready with me. Just to break it down, this sponge I think I'm really going to be obsessed with, especially for under eye concealer. It did a really nice, easy job. Love it. This shade Sucker I think goes really well with my eye makeup today. Um, I really liked this Super Shock Shadow from ColourPop and Flipper. Obviously, I know that I love the formula of those anyway. And Jeffree Star Manny Highlight. I think if you haven't tried anything from Jeffree Star before and you, or if you haven't tried a highlight before, I think that this one is a universally flattering one. Plus, did we talk about how huge this is? Like, here's comparison to the Tarte one. So, I think it's worth it. It's kind of expensive, but you're never gonna run out. <laughs> Let me know if you guys like this kind of video, if you want to see me do more. Um, I'm always buying new things and trying them out anyway, so I might as well film it for you if you enjoy this kind of video. And if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos in the future. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys are having a great day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye! Oh, I do have a new primer. <laughs> Having white skin, you guys. What is this? Oh god, I just lied. I do. Ow. I look like a goblin.